Hello, Virgo. This is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. Once you see this reading, it's for you. I don't know if you see it today, which is 12-12 or January the 15th, whatever. Whenever you see this reading, Virgo, it's for you. Okay? Let's get this message for the Virgos, please. Messages for the Virgo. Hmm. We got somebody here, a lover who's very controlling. Okay. And this person is like they, they tell you the cold hearted truth. All right. Um <laughs> so yeah, this person is very cutting with their words. They talk a lot of shit, Virgo. They talk a lot of shit. Okay. Um, this person could be older. Um they're very passionate. They're a very passionate person. They always like to lead. Um, you could be fucking your, your boss. Sorry. Somebody here is not going to boost with their boss. Okay. Um, this person is controlling at work and at home. Or if this is just a simple person in your life, the person who you're in love with, lovers, however you want to put it, like I said, they're controlling at home and they're controlling at work. Okay. So it's like they have trouble at both, both places because because of who they are. They, why they act like they're they're in control, but they're on, actually they're not. This is for you whenever you see it. We got the nine of cups, and we have the three of wands. Followed by the son of the, the father of wands, and we got the son of wands, which is actually the um, the king of, of of wands and the knight of of wands. So. I don't know if somebody's having issues. Every time I see this card, though, this is a three, the three of wands. This particular card here reminds me of a uterus. So maybe somebody's having some issues with endometriosis or something going on with your uterus flaring up. Could be BV. It could be, you know, the ladies, the stuff that we sometimes experience. But somebody's possibly going through some uncomfortable situation with your uterus or something or is it, excuse me, it's inflamed, go to the doctor. You get what I'm saying? We're not going to put it out here for the guys. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Didn't say anything about an STD, though it could be. It's just something going on down there with your want with your womanly part, okay? Somebody's maybe drinking too much soda that's irritating your uh, bladder. Maybe you have a bladder infection from drinking too many sodas. Line up water. <laughs> Got more cups. Um, so this is a situation with somebody having to leave, choosing to leave something behind for something better. This could be you getting punked at work, not treating you right at work and said, you know what, I'm done. Moving on to something better. All right. We have this father of source that always has something to say to you. Possibly drinking a little bit too much, possibly a narcissistic person, person who tries to control you, tries to run you around and different things like that, you know, um, and I'm the best thing you ever had. There's nobody else better than me. You're going to be with me. I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving your ass. And you're not leaving me. You know, it's like if I can't have your ass, nobody else can either. That's what that person is. That's what they're good for. Okay. Absolutely nothing, Virgo. Absolutely nothing. They told you I'm the best thing you ever had in your life, you know. Um, but this person definitely tries to rule over your control. You just could def definitely be a situation with control, okay? Complete control. The mother of pentacles here. You're protecting your children. You left. You decide to leave an abusive situation or an abusive job or whatever and moving on, you know? It's like you have so many opportunities in your life. Why are you dealing with that loser? Drop that, that zero and move on because you're the hero, okay? You have everything in your life to look forward to. Why why, get, why hang around with this one person who's bringing you down, who's not allowing you to see the sunlight, who is not allowing you to be happy? Let it go, all right? And that's moving you on to bigger things, better things for you, okay? Let that person be controlling all on their own, Virgo. Harvest, uh gathering of blessings you'll get your blessings when you leave this person the hell alone you'll get your blessings when you leave this stupid ass job but it's, it's more so the boss the person who's in charge is giving you the problem because they want to run everything okay um i'm kind of think it, it kind of puts me in i don't know why but i'm hearing i'm the master um from the dragon what's that movie 
Um, the Last Dragon from back in the day, at night, the eighties movie, when the guy was saying, "Well, he he kept on beating the guy up, but he kept on beating Leroy up, and he kept saying, who's the master? Who's the master?' And all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, the guy lifted his head up out that water. And he said, "I am." He started glowing. He had that heavenly glow about him. Yeah, Virgo, you the motherfucking master. I'm getting, ooh, I'm getting chills. <laughs> it makes me feel so good. I don't know why, but anyway. Who who's the master of Virgo? You are the motherfucking master. You better let these people know. Tell them you better recognize who the motherfucking master is. Puh. Anyway, I'm gonna put the end of that movie in the uh comments, the comment section for y'all know why all of a sudden I got this burst of energy. But yeah, who's the master? He lifted his out that water, and all of a sudden he got that glow. What's the glow? The glow, whatever that song is, I'm gonna put that in the comment section too. But he got that glow. So that's what spirits want to give you. You you already have that glow. You, don't let people punk you. You ain't no motherfucking punk, Virgo. You the motherfucking master. You get what I'm saying? People try to punk you. People try to belittle you. People try to run over you. Uh-uh. No. Why? Because you already got that glow. And that's what they don't like about it. You are in. You are invincible. You can do anything you want to do. Okay? You got that heavenly glow about you. Mm -mm. And people try to overtake that. Overrule you, Virgo. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Whew, I just felt that. Mm -hmm. The power of something. I put that song in the um, comment section for you. Deep emotions, unknown feelings, and past life influences. The power over difficulty, Virgo. Re reclaiming that power, realizing that you are the person in charge of your own destiny. You are the master. You are the person in motherfucking charge. I'm going to have to look, but I think I did a reading about this for you all a while ago, but I'll check. If I do, please look at it in the uh, the, the videos that show at the end of the movie, but that, the movie, <laughs> the end of the video, all right, the end of the reading. But you're going to find this, I think, in the middle of your worst times when you're dealing with somebody, when somebody's not treating you right, when you can't take that shit anymore. Like I said, that man said to, to Leroy at the end of the movie, who's the master? When he was trying to drown him in that water, he said he realized, like, damn, I'm the motherfucking master. He got up out that water, and he started glowing, and he beat the shit out of that man. Yeah, Virgo, get your motherfucking glow back. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Don't let nobody put that glow out. It's there for a reason, okay? Look at this. Angelic assistance, divine guidance, and loving support. Look at that glow. Listen, I don't know what's going on with these last few readings I did for you all, but it's about your glow. It's all about taking your personal power, power back and healing, finding healing, and not letting anybody put out that motherfucking light. You're fire. Okay, don't let people take you to levels that it's hard for you to climb out of, Virgo. You got all the power in the, in the world. Start realizing it and start using it. Put that shit into asking action. It's not there for nothing. All right? That's too many. <clears throat> Virgo finding your glow. Healing the heart. See, it's about it's about all about us finding this healing in our lives, Virgo. Power of self-love. If that song was a power of something, I put that song in that the end of that movie in the comments, okay? Because I said power is the power of something, okay? But this is you finding a power in you. Okay, that power, the power that people see in you, they know that it's there, but they always find those weak parts in you and come in and wreck all of your shit, wreck havoc over all of your life because you allow them to. Okay, when you reclaim that power and you say, hold up, who's the motherfucking master? I am. I'm the master of my journey. I'm the master of my destiny. I am the master of my right now. All right. Better get it together, Virgo. Get it together. And we have here. Duality, many meanings and misunderstandings. Many people don't understand you. That's why they, they sometimes don't like you. That's why they don't they can't understand where you come. They don't they don't understand who you truly are. Half the time, Virgo, you don't know how you don't even understand. You don't realize how powerful you are. You are so many different characters within that one body, within that one soul. You can do so many different things. But you gotta find a way to understand that you are the person in charge. Find that glow, Virgo. And we have friendship, support, fun, unity, and play. Spirit is telling you to get out and have a good time. I'm sorry. Spirit is suggesting that you go out and have a good time because that's free will. Okay? You can go out and have a good time or you can stay your ass at home and do nothing. That's totally up to you. And even when you go out and have fun, you're still surrounded by the light. 
And everybody who's within your soul group, everybody who you hang out with is surrounded by that light too because of you. Because of you, okay? Don't get it twisted. <clears throat> Message from Virgo today. <clears throat> oh, light. How many times are we going to talk about light? Intuition, trust, insight, awareness, and guidance. Look at that light. Just look at that glow. Spirit wants you to get that glow back. Spirit is telling you, you, you never lost that glow. You never lost who you truly were. You just let people come in and dim it. Come in and put it completely out. Change your motherfucking light bulb, Virgo. Change who you are. I put a reading out earlier. Turn on your heart light. Let it shine for all the world to see. It's already there. Like the movie. Who's the master? Realize you are the master, Virgo. You are. All right? Hope this message resonates. I'm just so excited about this reading. Wow. Talk to y'all later.